Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to talk to you about this trifold shovel made by a company called Sargent. Now, the shovel is also referred to as an entrenching tool or an e-tool, as we called it in the United States Marine Corps. And one of these type of tools was my standard issue as an active duty Marine, so I definitely got to put it through its paces. It traveled around with me to various countries and uh, utilized it for digging foxholes and all sorts of varied terrain, uh, as well as latrines, and uh, even utilized it for uh, combatives and self-defense training. So when I left uh, active duty, I was able to bring my military issued e-tool home with me. It's been a part of my gear, a big part of my gear ever since. But recently, I wanted to add a couple more to my vehicles as well as my uh, other go bag. And I started searching around. I came across uh, this one on Amazon. Was a little bit skeptical because it wasn't made in the USA, but it was built to military spec. And the price was about half of uh, what uh, other ones were going for with uh, for basically the same exact specs. So I saw that it did have a lifetime warranty, even though I was skeptical, ended up picking it up, figured I'd have very little to lose. So uh, let's get into some of the results of my testing process. This e-tool has a steel blade, a bit of a serrated edge here, as you can tell. It has the point, flat edges on the opposite side. The rest of the body is pretty much aluminum, hollow, keeping it lightweight under three pounds. I certainly recommend that everybody have a shovel with them while they're out in the field for varied applications, and especially in your vehicle, whether it's to help with snow, uh, getting stuck in the mud, so on and so forth. So what's cool about this one is when it is folded up, it's about 10 inches uh, long, so you can pretty much fit it anywhere in your vehicle, and uh, it does extend to approximately 23 inches. Once again, I'll put much more uh, information in my blog post as far as specifications. So, so uh, make sure that you check that out in order to get all of those uh, little extra details. The blade itself is made of steel and then it gets into this hollow aluminum body to keep it lightweight, weighs in just under three pounds. And uh, as you can tell, it's just very convenient to have this type of uh, form factor. The e-tool also comes with a well-made carrying case made of nylon. So you have some Velcro in the front, some Velcro in the back, you could attach it to your Molly setup or uh, whatever's convenient, hang it somewhere in your vehicle or uh, even off of a D-ring. Uh, once again, depending on your setup, depending on your kit. But especially for the price point, it was nice to actually have something that's uh, decent quality to be able to uh, carry your uh, or my e-tool in. Now, the e-tool has a fastener. So as you open it up here, you have this piece here that you would go ahead, turn it clockwise. And you could have, let's say, various angles, a couple different angles there. So you could have your basically your straight here. You go ahead, open it up a little bit. Incline it to whatever degree you need to work with. Go ahead, tighten that down again. And uh, you could tell basically uh, you have a lot of versatility with this to uh, get various jobs done. As I mentioned earlier, I picked up a couple of these, so I wanted to make sure that I put them through a good review process. I wasn't familiar with the sergeant name. The specs did look good, felt uh, very similar to uh, the e-tool that I carried with me in the Marine Corps, but I still wanted to put it through its paces so I didn't have a false sense of security and end up having just extra weight that I'm either staging in my vehicle or even worse, humping around in a field. And then when I actually needed the tool and went to utilize it, it would fall apart on me. So uh, in order for that not to happen, I wanted to test it and test it in my natural environment, put it through the paces and uh, see what kind of results I would get. It just so happened that the week that uh, these shovels came in, my wife and I uh, had decided to put in fresh sod in our home. And those of you that are familiar with uh, that type of, let's say, landscaping, you realize that you have to do a lot of digging. So I thought, hey, what better way to really test this e-tool out? than to go ahead and uh, use it for what it's mainly designed for, which is digging. And we had all sorts of clay and rocks and varied terrain. And this uh, shovel really did hold up and held up pretty well. Uh, even my wife uh, commented on it that, wow, you know, that really came in handy, even though that was definitely not the purpose why I ended up uh, picking up this e-tool. But once again, if it went through that type of testing, 
and especially in the rain and muddy and messy and so on and so forth and really held up, that certainly gave me the confidence that I needed to make this a part of my gear and uh, feel good about it. Along with all the digging, I definitely wanted to uh, test out the locking mechanism. So I went ahead and just with the uh, tip of the E-tool, lifted up one of my 45 pound kettlebells. Uh, didn't have an issue, there was no give at all. And uh, that was certainly impressive also and uh, gave it a uh, thumbs up as far as in my view. So very little maintenance. I would definitely uh, keep oiling this little mechanism here so that it always keeps uh, spinning freely, especially every time it's out in the field. So just keep it clean and a little bit of oil in here and you'll pretty much be good to go. Uh, very little maintenance besides that. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a military spec e-tool coming in at uh, nearly half the price of other comparable e-tools, definitely take a look at this one uh, by Sergeant. It impressed me. I picked up a few of these, as I mentioned earlier, added it to my gear. I put it through the test so I know that I'm very confident with it. And uh, it will perform as well in the field as it does uh, gardening at home. So you're getting a lot of versatility and a small form factor that uh, actually feels really good in the hand, very sturdy. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.